Hey everyone, we're back, and this one is for the gamers. As much as there are movies coming out, there are also a lot of video games coming out as well, and this is for Biomutant, which I believe is coming out on May 25th, so just one week away. They released a explanation trailer, which I'm guessing is going to describe the setting of the game and like all the kind of game mechanics and features that it'll have. So let's take a look at this, and let's take a deeper look into the world of Biomutant. So, what is Biomutant in a nutshell? Biomutant is an open-world, post-apocalyptic kung fu fable. Mm -hmm. Basically, in terms of structure, it's like uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, I guess. But the feedback that's you know that we've been getting over the years it's that it's kind of a, a strange weird good mix between Ratchet and Clank, Devil May Cry, Batman Arkham yeah and a couple of other influences so it's truly an uh, open world game 8x8 uh, kilometers, kilometers filled with a lot of weird events and fun things to find I think the primary thing that we worked a lot with is uh, the control that the player have uh, over the character customization. We have uh, the possibility for the player, you know, to, to set the attributes and in Biomutant that's uh, tightly connected or integrated with the way that the character uh, looks. But the player is like completely free to morph their own uh, breed. We call oh, it wow. breed, but mammal if you will. And eventually, you know, people have a lot of assumptions on what kind of animal this is. But for me, and I guess the team, we have allowed the player to make what I call, you know, more like a Muppet. I kind of wonder though, like, what the world setting will be. And with character customization, you know, it goes all the way down to crafting bits onto your clothes or hats or uh, pants or whatnot. Uh, I guess the most important thing is the arsenal or the weapons. I mean, it's an action role-playing game, right? So we're focusing on, on the action parts of know the role-playing aspect each like part that you can find for weapons and gear also comes with like a, a material uh, uh, a quality aspect so they can be more damaged or of a higher quality material so I guess you have You're the scavenge that you don't have to repair <laughs> but you can actually upgrade things that are broken but they, oh. they will never uh, diminish in terms of no repairing that's a that's a plus we don't do that. is that a toothbrush <laughs> In the game, you have six different tribes, uh, so they're all composed of, you know, a leader, a Sifu, if you will, that have mastered a specific Wang Fu uh, combat style and uh, trained his disciples in, in that. So hmm. these tribes are now in conflict. Basically, there are three tribes that have what we call a light aura, so basically a, a, a good karma, if you will, if you want to paint it black and white. And there are three tribes that have like a dark aura. Eventually, at the start of the game, you will find that you have to choose an ally. So one of these oh, six tribes. So you have to choose your As allegiance. You move along or uh, go further into the game, you're free at any time to change your allegiance. Oh wow! But at the start of the game, you 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 choose one of these two tribes, and basically at that point, the state of the world is represented by a huge tree that's at the heart of the 8 by 8 kilometer over world. So it's a representation um, of the world either uh, going under or the world surviving. So this is all tied to the tree. So I guess that's like the main story, I guess, going into the game. Like if a light or a tribe, they want to save the world, so make sure that the tree uh, survives and also then uniting the other tribes, whilst allying with Dark or a tribe would mean the opposite. They believe that the only way that you can move forward is to make sure there's kind of a cleansing, I guess, so uh, making sure that everything that's bad in the world uh, kind of goes under so you have a rebirth and start anew if that makes sense. Mm. So you're very free to make this choice, but also bear in mind that that will affect the ending of the game. Interesting. That's an interesting Obviously, concept. game being called Biomutant has to have some form of mutations uh, slash abilities, right? There's quite a wide range of them. 
primarily we have the bind mutations, so those are kind of more physical abilities, if you will. Whoa. For example, you can spawn a, a mushroom in front of you. Uh, that has multiple uses, if I just use that one as an example, in terms of creative freedom for you as a player. Combining this jumping up on the mushroom with, let's say, just uh, electricity shooting out from your fingers, like the Emperor in Star Wars, or once the character is airborne, like your enemy, uh, just going up there, unleashing some other kind of strange abilities. I don't want to go into all of them. But uh, the other aspect is the Psy mutations. So those are more like your you know, X-Men style abilities, if you will. Like, for example, Levitate, which again uh, can give you both exploration opportunities, but also then in, in you can use it in combat in conjunction with other abilities and obviously ranged combat. So that will give you an advantage, I guess. It's like a wide if array of abilities. Keep on exploring the world because you're wondering what's going to be, you know, around the next corner. And I guess the hope that we have as a group, as a team, is that that's going to be the unifying factor in terms of people playing the game and giving us feedback. Uh, that we that it's notable that the game has a soul or a vibe that is a little bit unique and special. That's my highest hope for the game. Hmm. I guess. The the world looks amazing. I gotta say, a lot of customization. You can choose your allegiance. Coming out twenty May twenty fifth. PS four Xbox One PC. So. It's a game they're, I guess, making for last gen. The game looks so vibrant and like full of life, which is a little, I guess, contrast with like the themes, I guess, because they did say it's like set in a post-apocalyptic world, and because all the characters you see are kind of like anthropomorphic animals, you kind of wonder what happened to this world. Where are all the humans? And I'm assuming that there's going to be a plot behind that too. Or they're just gonna put that aside and just have you explore this rich world. And then you have like different factions, three factions who want to save the world, and I guess three factions that don't. That allegiance system has me a little curious because they said you have to choose one in the beginning, and then later on you can change if you want. But I wonder if you can like hop around uh, with different factions throughout the game. I guess that uh, encourages maybe multiple playthroughs, maybe not a lot, but. Uh, just to kind of see how other factions do things and how they kind of run their allegiance and what they want you to do and stuff like that. But I think it boils down to either you're saving the world or you're quote-unquote, as they mentioned, that you're cleansing the world and purging it to make it restart again. So we'll see. We'll see what the motivations are. We'll see what the different stories are with these characters. Weapon customization looks pretty good too. It's really funny because like all the pieces you find... They're like from the old world, I guess, and you just put them together, mash them together, and I like how one of the stats for the weapon said strong, level strong or something. But I trust in this team because I feel like they're taking the best of different games that came before. They mentioned like what DMC and Ratchet and Clank and Batman Arkham games, and they're taking all those influences and sort of mashing them together. I hope that it's a good mashup because... It's one thing to be influenced, but it's another thing to maybe copy, I guess. So I kind of wonder how they're going to make it their own, rather than just make it a straight-up imitation, I suppose. <laughs> they also kind of mention, like, X-Men and stuff, and, you know, the ability to levitate and Star Wars, Palpatine, Lightning Hands. But I think overall, the game looks very creative. The world looks very rich. I do hope the lore is very uh, deep and very detailed, because as much as the gameplay will be awesome, as it looks to be here, I do want a good story to go with it and to kind of enrich in the experience, you know? Uh, that's a look at Biomutant, it's just coming out in one week. What did you all think of the explanation trailer? Have you been tracking this game's updates the moment it was announced? Did you even know about this game? Are you going to get it? Are you going to play it? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching another video, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.